Hi, I'm Summer Lucy Fangirl, and today I'm here to react to episode three of Arcane. Uh, I watched episode two last night, but um, just before re this recording, I did a bit of a, um, a scan through the first two episodes, just so I could gather the names for, because last episode we were interested in a lot more people, so I wanted to make sure that I had everyone's names down, rather than trying to use descriptions to, to, um, to talk about people who I hadn't remembered the names of. Um, so hopefully that will make life a bit easier so I've got a little notepad with just um, a note of everyone's names so far um, we ended off with quite a cliffhanger last time with Vi um, leading the enforcers to her in um, Benzo's shop because uh, she broke into Benzo's shop um, to wait for them to appear because she used uh, this is what I, I am taking this happened she used the the communication cylinder um, through the like pneumatic tubes to tell the enforcers that where she was going to be, probably just admitting I was the one who did it to stop the incoming war that was about to happen with the lanes and um, Piltover. Um, we also got introduced to, um, well, basically got to see what had been happening on Topside um, or in Piltover. So we got introduced to Jace, the inventor whose apartment was broken into, um, whose dream it is to work out a way to harness the arcane through science, essentially, um, which would also explain the kind of glowing crystal stone ball things, which are like um, somehow contain the magic power. Um, we were also introduced to his patrons at the time, uh, the Kiramans, because we'd heard their name in the first episode, but we hadn't actually seen anything of them. Um, so Caitlin Kierman, um, the daughter, who has really nice like purple in her hair, um, she's like Jace's friend. Um, and see how she's going to... I feel like she's still going to get involved. So I wonder if she's going to kind of like basically go against her family's wishes eventually and kind of team up with Jace. We were also introduced to Victor, who um, revealed later in the episode that he was from the Undercity, uh, and but we also know that he is assistant to the Dean of the Academy, who is also the head of the council. Um, I don't think... I might have skipped over it because I was skimming. Um, I don't think we'd actually heard his name, um, but he's the one that Mel gave the child's toy to whilst she said, like, oh, this was... Um, said to be only solvable by the sharpest of minds kind of thing um so out of the council members actually we know mel uh mel madara um and we've got uh professor heimerdinger who is a professor in the academy um who is 307 years old and has seen what the mages can do when they get um power hungry essentially um is we also had a bit of a history lesson about piltover or just a bit some information um we had the fact that piltover was established as a kind of a haven um to escape the um the warmonger the warmongering of the mages um so that that is interesting uh, we also got to see magic for the first time like as in being cast and it was beautiful i really loved that um but I think that's kind of generally what's happening. The last scene with uh, Powder going up to the bar with Vi's toy or her teddy and just like sulking at the bar and Vanda thinking, oh, you know, she's just a bit upset because of like recent events in general, like made her drink, try and cheer her up, but then reads from her expression the fact that she doesn't get any happier and then takes note of the fact it is actually Vi's toy that something's happening with Vi. So I'm interested to see if he's going to retaliate in any way and trying to like make sure that she's not locked up, like if he's going to fight uh, Grayson about that. I don't know. Oh, I'm, I'm really intrigued and I just kind of want to get to it actually now. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> I'm excited. Um, but I also want, I'm interested to see how Mel, who's interested in Jace's idea, cause she, well, she didn't, she wants something to make Piltover stand out or to make also make herself stand out because she's a um even though she's the richest person in Piltover, she's the um poorest in her family. So she obviously wants there's obviously like a bit of competitiveness there, and so she wants something that can put Piltover on the map, as she says. Um so she's interested in Jace's ideas because they're so revolutionary but also taboo that if it could work 
I mean, like you said, it is revolutionary. Like the fact that people who aren't born with mad with the ability to use magic could then use magic is a huge thing. But as Heimerdinger was saying, very scary because if that got into the wrong hands, which we know there are quite a few wrong hands it could get into. Um, I mean, if it could give them the power, the equivalent of the mages, you are like the other accounts members were kind of actually saying you are kind of inviting the same issues that they they escaped from or everyone in Piltover escaped from into the city. It means anyone could be as powerful as a mage or maybe not as powerful, but, you know, have some power equivalent to a mage, which is a scary thought because at the moment it's just um, it's just whatever weapons that people have. So, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I'm really excited to see this episode. Um, as usual, if you have, if you want to put a comment with a spoiler in it, then please put spoiler at the start of it to make sure that people know um, to avoid it. Also, if you want to put like the episode in particular, it's spoiling. That's also um, useful because it means that if I want to I can later on, I can check it out. That's it. If you would like to keep up to date with when I'm recording, editing and posting, then please follow my Twitter, Y. But that really is it. So let's get to it. Oh, ominous. Very ominous, very slowly coming into the picture. Beautiful voice. Well, it didn't look was his face unscarred at the moment. He looks younger here. Ooh, like the bubble animation. Yeah. Yeah. The panic. Oh god, what? <gasps> so he was being drowned by Vanda? Scrapping. Mm. Mm. Oh, the red. Diffusing into the water. Oh, the scratches down his arm. I don't please. Oh. Mm. Vanda. Okay, yep. <laughs> Interesting. So I wonder what was... What made the rift between them. I wonder if the antagonist did something, or if Vanda did something that made the other disagree with them. This is what I was wondering, if that was Victor with a... Oh, and was that Jace with a hammer? Because like, his father used a hammer. But um, was that Victor with a leg brace? I had an issue with my last recording, so I'm going to keep um, glancing over at my monitor just to check everything's working all right. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. Is Vander going to turn himself in? <gasps> he's going to turn himself in. Yeah, he's, this is his saying goodbye to her. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. So that's the split. No. Are you gonna arrest me? Is is he gonna is he gonna punch Marcus? A doomed man. Grayson understands. Yeah. They're old friends, surely. Uh, like a good um, Merchant of Venice. If you knew, if you knew who was in there, has she ever met Vi? I wonder. They're shocking him. Or are they still attacking people anyway? Oh. They're attacking the enforcers. Oh, unless it's um, uh, Deckard, who's the one who's got the serum. Oh no! Oh my god, really? Grayson? Oh no, please, please. I like Grayson a lot. Oh. Yeah, it's gonna be Deckard. Oh no! Okay, right, can we get a name? Silco. Don't, 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 no, don't. 
No. <gasps> God. Oh, poor Vander's face. <gasps> the deal, you see? Marcus, you stupid man. You stupid man. Yeah, blood-soaked coins. What have you done? Idiot. Absolute idiot. No way. No way. Okay. Really? We can't do a dying scene, surely. Please. I really like Vanda. Is he going to take Vanda away with him? Because it's like a personal thing. Yeah. Okay. So he's captured, but not by the enforcers, which means there's nothing to, like, stop their extra violence. What have you done, Marcus, you stupid man? The fact they're not checking Grayson really, oh, really worrying. Oh, the shouting. The crystals will only stabilize at high frequencies. You have to crank it. Yes. Yes, you have to I hope... I hope Victor's like an okay person. I hope he's just curious scientist. I cuz I would like to like him. <laughs> you think it was my life's ambition to be an assistant. So mm. seek discoveries. That's what I hope. Uh, that's what I was hoping cuz he was looking inspired when he was talking when Jace was doing his speech in front of Oh, that's nice. Please be okay. <laughs> I can see it going wrong, but I hope it's with the best intentions if it does go wrong eventually. Oh, is it little man Echo? Oh, no. Give Echo a hug, please. Please have a hug. Yes, please hug. Thank you. What about Vander? They took him away. Hmm. So there's a chance to save him. Oh, <gasps> an army. That's so many vials. Uh-oh. Zorn? But then, did Vander change his mind because he saw that everyone was just dying? And so he gave up. Gave me a new perspective or something. Understand. Yeah, an understanding. <gasps> and he's... Does he cut his arm? I think we should fight. You kept my respect. And so you made peace with them. Hmm. Oh no, Vanda. Is he going to get the serum? Oh, of course he's going to get the serum in him. I'm just not that mad at you. He's a father now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, there we go. That's how she gets involved. Mm. <laughs> Great, Victor. <laughs> oh, the the slogan having equality, considering the top side in the Undercity. Oh, baby. She's scared she's shaking. We're not doing this alone, boy. It's our father too. Oh yes. Glad they said it. I need you to put this one away. I knew it. She doesn't want to be left behind though. Right? It's too dangerous. But families stick together. You said it yourself. I know what I said. I want to fight. I can help. You're not ready. Oh no. 
That's not what she means. Yes, that's what she means. So a flare. I wonder if they'll get separated for a while then. Oh, powders are alone. Uh, yeah, maybe you should have drawn some curtains or something. Oh, sweetheart. Oh. Yeah, she, okay, she's worked out what caused the explosion. She's going to use it to make a weapon. Yep, that would be a nice thing to do. It's not going to happen though. Oh, is Van already changed? And will Powder have to see him? Right. Here we go. Trying to actually do a spell? Very fun. <laughs> oh no, are they going to get teleported somewhere? Is the whole lab going to get teleported somewhere? Okay, so that was not very subtle. Yeah, but it wasn't subtle. <laughs> How did you get in? What, there's guards everywhere. It was easy. We found an open window and... It's like it was a trap. Yeah. Yeah, an open window. I hadn't even thought about the fact, but yeah, now she said it. Bit, a bit obvious. No one's out on guard or anything. And he was left out in the open. Like, he's such a bad guy, but I do like his uh, fashion style. <laughs> Red, gold, and black. Nice. Oh, Powder. Hopefully Powder can help. I want... Come on, Powder. Powder can help. Please. <sighs> They're huge gauntlets. Come on, Vi. She's great at punching. Oof, knife. Nice. <laughs> it's not going to be as easy as you think. Oh, and knocked him out as well. Nice. But don't let them go behind you. Like that. You don't want them coming from both sides. Or going on to attack these guys. Come on, Milo. Oh, good. Good. Yeah, see? Don't have people behind you. Break through a wall. I really hope they can. I just feel really bad now. I feel like he won't make it out because we've seen the vial. A vial? Oh, God. He's going to get addicted to it. So maybe he's okay as long as he keeps drinking it and then just loses more and more of his mind and then eventually will die, but not yet. It is like a berserker serum, but also like doubles your size. Oh, uh, he's not even going to flinch. <sighs> no. Come on. <laughs> wow, he's memorized all the symbols. That's very cool. And he was so young at the time. Yes. Oh no, just... Okay, just floating. That's fun. <laughs> yes. Doesn't mean it should. <laughs> oh, I'm glad. No, because this is, this is the innocent way. Ah, uh, yeah. Kaka's doing an amazing job of breaking through a wall. <laughs> Good work. <gasps> Should not have been at the window. 
Into the water. Water, water, because it's surrounded by water. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, so she's lost an arm. Wow. Wow, the flames. <gasps> Brilliant. Destroying all the vials. <gasps> and him, because he made them. Oh, oh. Don't. Uh, it might hurt them as well, though. There's lots of debris getting thrown about. <gasps> oh no, oh no, oh no. <gasps> don't remove it, don't remove it, don't remove it. Why are you still alive? You could have been the one that died. He's got to fall through the bridge into, like, fire or something. That would be great. Oh, she's been... So, she might still be alive, and I wonder if she's been affected by, like, the magic. Oh. Come on, Vanda. Yes, Vanda. God, that is going to be heavy. Come on, Vanda. Has he got all his, um, gauntlets on? No. Oh. Yeah, you know, you're gone. <laughs> Over the edge. Oh, yes. Come on, Twitch. Twitch. Oh. She knows it was powder. And now Vander's doing it alone. With his own knife, I bet. Fuck. Oh, is that the knife he stole originally? Oh, he's not going to be able to do it in the end. He's going to stab him through the heart. Yeah. Oh, no. Down he goes. Um, I think he, sure, uh-oh, and he's lying on the serum, he's lying on the serum, is it going into his blood, is he going to drink some, he's going to drink some, oh, the glass in his hands, <sighs> oh he is, he's going to drink some, and go berserk. Is Marcus going to make an appearance? Oh, is the whole place going to collapse? Oh, no, here he is, okay. Here's Vanda. I mean, he's just going to be insane. Kill him. Mm. I have no idea how Powder's going to react to it. And Vi as well. I love the animation on that fire. That's gorgeous. That's really pretty. Oh. Because Powder crushed them with a building. But also, they did need something to be able to get out at all. They'd have been, well, Kaga had made an escape route. I don't know. No, this is not the right time. No. And it. No. Yeah. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. She didn't mean to do that. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 you're supposed to protect her. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. Yeah, you made her bleed. Cuddle her, please. She needs a hug. And you need to run away. Please don't. Please don't. Please. Oh, please don't walk away. 
Powder, you have to go after her. Just for a moment, take a break, but you have to look out for each other. She's going to come back. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Silco. Fuck. Because she doesn't know what Silco looks like at all. <gasps> oh, oh, no. Is Violet going to come back? No, he's not going to do use the knife. Or is she going to come in? I don't know. <laughs> Is she going to see what's about to happen and run in to save her? <gasps> oh, Marcus, I know you mean... Oh, and this is how they get separated? Oh, fuck. Oh. It's, so Silco is not going to kill her. He's going to take her and make her hate Topside or something. Use her. Because she's made a bomb. Encourage her to invent. Oh, fuck. Yeah, now she's been left. Oh, I was wondering if there was two people in the opening, one pink, one blue. Older. What was it them? Oh, she's hugging him. Yeah, and is this how... Oh... And he can kind of sympathise with that feeling because that's what he felt about with Vanda. Because Vanda abandoned him. So they're going to pat her head. <sighs> oh, just cuddle her. Yeah. Ah, oh, damn it. This is the issue when you just need a break away, but then... Obviously, without... Vi couldn't go back to her. She wanted to, but she couldn't. Because Marcus took her away. I mean, yes, he'd attacked her. And maybe they wouldn't have survived. But now, Powder's completely misunderstanding it. <sighs> well... I'm very glad I know nothing about the games. Because if the the games had... Vi and Powder on opposite sides, like opposite factions, or like you could play as them against each other. That would have been a big thing that I, I mean, still, even when you do know kind of like um something and it's like a kind of like a prequel or something, it's it can still be really interesting kind of see, well, how, if they started like this in episode one, how did it get to the point where we know them in the games or something like that? But I'm really glad I, I, I've known nothing. Uh, so... Grace and Anne Vander and Benzo. All all of the really cool like adults are <laughs> gone. Marcus an idiot. Ah <sighs> The Blood Soap Money was really cool imagery. Um Oh and the, the reference to uh, Merchant of Venice with a pound a pound of flesh. Mm. Yeah, kind of, kind of set the mood for um, like like it's a, it's a graphic, kind of description a pound of flesh. When you think of someone like cutting off a pound of their own flesh, and then just immediately after that scene, oh god! I mean, what a way, what a misdirection at the end of the last episode. I mean, I'm I wasn't too surprised about. I mean, I was surprised gladly about the fact that um the enforcers hadn't actually reached Vi but you know not the biggest surprise I'm kind of used to misdirections especially in like towards the end of an episode but the I did not see Silco coming and um Deckard just destroying them like the sudden splat of blood was like whoa <laughs> wasn't ready for that um, I'm hoping though that the the vials 
have all been destroyed. So maybe he has to now work away from that. I mean, maybe he'll try and do that again, but he hasn't got the person who made the the potion. But maybe he's just going to instead focus on weaponry and helping Powder get better with her machines and creating weapons. <sighs> oh, Powder. Oh, she had the best intention. I mean, she was just losing her mind at, being, at the thought of being left all alone. She would have been like actually all alone there was no figures i was like yeah there was no vanda none of the gang potentially so this is what she was thinking no vanda no any other gang no benzo the only other person would have been echo and that would have been it like in terms of familial figures and stuff like she's already lost her family like yes she was so young when that happened but there's still would leave you'd, you'd still be scarred by that seeing your parents dead <sighs> Oh God, she meant she meant well, but if it was a single, if it was like literally the first one or two explosions where it was just kind of like a distraction or just something to give a chance to get away, fine. I was the, and it's the fact she didn't know that they were actually managing to make an escape route. Yes, it was kind of dire, but th- there was a chance they could have escaped. <sighs> oh, I mean, that's that's the issue if you play with bombs. Um, especially because she was using something she had no understanding of. She did not understand those those orbs. All she knew is that they exploded. And she thought, great, I'll cause an explosion. But it was multiple. It was like a good, maybe like five to ten explosions. <sighs> oh, I know the way she appeared. Like, if she hadn't been as cheerful when she kind of approached fire, if she, if she knew it was a mistake... What she'd done was, like, actually had not been great. Um, even if it, like, oh, it had helped a bit, but it hadn't actually helped as she'd wanted it to. I think Vi wouldn't have had to... Or wouldn't have had to. Wouldn't have exploded quite as as much as she did. I think she'd have kind of d- d- gone to despair, but not anger, because, like, Powder was like, did you see it worked? My invention finally worked, kind of thing. Oh, God. Awful misunderstanding. Oh, and Milo, Milo and his um, lot picking, and he was being encouraged, and Vanda was being so soft to them. And they were also determined to save him. Ah, what an awful situation. The thing is, you can't blame either Vile Powder. Powder felt abandoned and felt like she had to help, especially when she saw that Vi was surrounded by people fighting her and this weird berserker guy, like, advancing on them and pounding on the door and everything. Like, if only she'd used her mouths with nails or something. I know it wouldn't have done as much, but at least it would have been controlled in the sense that they were in the room, it wouldn't have hurt them. (sighs) Um, So, of course she felt abandoned in like it was done with the best intentions of course it was because Vi was looking out for her but the fact that she said you're a jinx and all that stuff before she left <sighs> it just wasn't gonna go well and poor Vi just needed a, a minute to grieve like Vanda had just died and his last words were about looking after powder and she just needed a a minute to grieve, get over the shock of everything that had just happened within a span of like a few minutes. And then uh, and then she'd have picked herself back up and got powder out of there, but Yes, Mark has saved them, but also the misunderstandings are awful. If only, if only, like, Vi had just stopped her just a few metres away to catch her breath or something. I don't know. I mean, there's nothing. It's neither of their faults. It's just now there's going to be this, yeah. Oh, and Vi's going to be desperate to still try and help Powder. And Powder's going to just be saying, you abandoned me. You would left me. You betrayed me. All I did was try and help and... God. Uh, the voice actors in this episode were fantastic. The screams and like the, the, the sorrow like really good. Really, really good. Oh okay, and about topside stuff, which is a little bit more a little bit more levity to it. 
so the magic is now working or at least you know as part of it is they managed to make themselves float but um yes oh i'm i really really hope that victor and jace just have a really good friendship relationship with this thing and one of them doesn't go too far with it and the other one tries to stop them and maybe something happens to them i hope it's not that kind of thing i I, like like they seem really good working together and i want them to keep going um mel's got her wish of okay right we've uh, she's got now something that she can look towards and the the era of magic and if if piltover can be the first place as the pioneers of this it would be huge i mean yeah it would change history because the, their whole belief is that you'd have to be born with the ability to use the arcane, and now they've just shown that's not true. It can be harnessed through technology. It's just a little bit more help within the equations. I just like Heimeldinger. Oh dear, I do worry because Heimeldinger will be wise, obviously. Well, not obviously, but um, he's obviously seen a lot. So all of his things just feel like a, a foreshadowing kind of thing. Yes, he's being maybe overly cautious, but it's better to be overly cautious than to regress it later on. Um, yes, yeah, so I really liked Victor and Jace interacting, and I hope, uh, at least for now, it will continue in that way. I wonder if they'll eventually start turning it, the magic into being weaponry. If that would be their idea, or if it would be someone else's idea. Oh, especially because now without Vanda, who was the person, who was the peacekeeper in the lanes, there's nothing stopping the Undercity from just attacking topside. So it feels like there's going to be a war. But I wonder if Silco will get everyone to halt for a little bit until they can regroup, because his whole lair was destroyed. So I wonder if he'll get them to wait and then in the meantime, like, help Powder improve all of her tech. <sighs> I think Deckard has gone for good. I can't, uh, I don't think he's been carried or anything. I think Vanda did manage to kill him. I hope the serum's gone. There's not going to be more of them. It wouldn't surprise me if they managed to me- remake it. But I think they'll probably focus more on the tech and potentially Arcane. <sighs> well... Not as big a cliffhanger, so not really, not, not really too much of a cliffhanger. Oh, I, yeah, no, I don't know where we're going to go next episode. Probably see Powder being manipulated by Silco. It is quite interesting that, I mean, what a coincidence that that kind of similar situation of them both feeling betrayed by their siblings, like the people they were closest to. Ah, uh, well, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my reaction. Um, I look forward to seeing the next episode, and I hope you'll join me for the next one. Until then, bye bye. <laughs>